may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please.
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. In order to preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. We now have an additional schedule of confession from Monday to Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning until 12 noon. We wish to inform all our mass goers that all intentions submitted in our office and through the online form are included in all the daily masses. However, we set a cutoff time at five in the afternoon. All intentions received on or before 5 p.m. will be included in tomorrow's mass. Those intentions received after 5 p.m will be included in Masses the day after tomorrow. Thank you for your understanding and please be guided accordingly. After post-communion prayer, we will have a second collection in support of the Biblical Apostolate. Please kneel and let us pray the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Altogether, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is January 22, 2023, and we are in the third Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Francis Gustilo, SDB. Let us join the choir in singing the entrance hymn.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, our good Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. Every Sunday, we begin the week. As every day, it begins with the light. It begins with the sun. So, this beautiful expression of nature, that life begins with the light. Today, it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. He's inviting us to come to the light. And so, let us first go out of darkness from our sinfulness. We beg Him to have mercy on us. You are our light. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are our life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are our hope of glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son, we too may abound in good works like his. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. First, the Lord degraded 
the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the end, he has glorified the seaward road, the land west of the Jordan, the district of the Gentiles. Anguish has taken wing, dispelled in darkness. For there is no gloom where but now there was distress. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwell in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rad of their taskmaster you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and in the same purpose. For it has been reported to me about you, my brothers and sisters, by Chloe's people, that there are rivalries among you. I mean that each of you is saying, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos. I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. All together. 
Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth, went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulon and Naphtali, that what has been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled land of zebulon land of naphtali the way of the sea beyond the jordan galilee of the gentiles the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light on those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death light has arisen from that time on jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. As he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me. I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. <clears throat> he walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness among the people. The gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am a priest of around 43 years this year. Um, but of the 43 years, I've been teaching theology, 40 years. My uh, beloved mentor just passed on, Father Arevalo. We've been 40 years knowing each other from 1983 to today. To last time I saw him was December 11. The readings of Sunday are very important because we have to look at what God wants to say, not what a priest like me, Father Francis, would like to tell you. I'd like you and I to somehow extract what God wants to say this Sunday. Because if you look at the first reading, we read it during Christmas time. It was Christmas too that we read Isaiah. But it's a different context because it's a different gospel. It's a different season. So what does this third Sunday of the year, in year A, using the gospel of Matthew, what does God want to say to us? Meron bang hindi makakaintindi ng Tagalog, pakitaas ng kamay? Even if just one of you. Wala. So, pwede na magtagalog. Okay. Meron ko nakikitang matatanda. Nakakatanda pala. Mas maraming natatanda. Ang daming lugar. Bro, can you come to this side? Please, there are five seats available. Brothers, can you just take these seats? 
may social distancing. No, no. Take these seats, brothers. Call others to sit down. Totoo po, kasi mahaba po yung homily ko. Ah, hindi. And uh, brothers, if you want to go there, no, we have another five seats. Anyone? Takers? Sige na po. Pupo kayo dito sa harapan. Huwag kayo matakot. Sige po. Please come. Yes, ma'am. Yes, son. Ito, kayo po. Sa pa. Sa pa po. Yeah. Dalawa pa po, oh. Apat pa po. Yeah. Please. Don't be shy. Please po. Lumapit na kayo, mas malapit pa po. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Huwag kayo matakot po. Yeah, yeah. I'm Father Francis. I'm not Pope Francis. Pero, okay siya sa akin. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, ano lumalabas? What is coming out of the two texts, Isaiah and Matthew today? Light. Actually, sa mga bata, copy-paste. What Isaiah said, Matthew even says, and this is to fulfill what the prophet Isaiah said, that you land of Zebulun, the land of Naphtali, the way to the sea of the Mediterranean, uh, Gentile Galilee. Kasi hindi sila mga Hujo. They are in the north. The south are the, uh, the Jews and the Pharisees are mostly in the south. They are in Galilee. They are, is there any prophet that comes from Galilee? Is there any good that comes from Nazareth? Anyway, this prophecy is fulfilled because the light that shines in the darkness and overcomes the shadow of death, He has come. He has come. And that is Jesus that says, Repent the kingdom of God is at hand. Narito na ang kapaghahari ng Diyos. So when you say that, brothers and sisters, we have to say that in the gospel, first reading, and even responsorial psalm, the Lord is my light. And even it says, my salvation. Kaligtasan ko. Bakit? Hindi po itong ilaw na ito eh. Pag nasa gabi ka, at brown out, wala kang flashlight, Nako, pag sumigaw ka na lang sa ka, 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 mga ka, 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 kapitbahay mo, please po, pengin naman konting liwanag, ilaw. Because you will not trip, you will not fall. You need the light to see. Mami, ang gabi po, in the midnight, eh, we, lunar year po ngayon, kaya magta, nagtatambulan dun eh. Lunar year po ngayon, bilog ang buwan. Di ba? Maraming lunatic kayo. Uh, alam niyo po ba? If there is a deep dark night, open your eyes, close your lights, you will not see. You do not see because you have your eyes. You see because God gives you light. Now that light, natural, physical, is not enough. Why? With that light, I see you, you see me. But you don't see me. I don't see you the way Jesus sees you. You know how Jesus sees you? I met Father Arevalo December 11 for the last time. 15 minutes, kawawa na mga mama. 97 years old. When he came to me, he was thinking, sino ba to? But then immediately he says, maybe in the context of Christmas, Father Ferriols, my classmate, wrote, asking God, who is that baby sleeping in the manger? What is he dreaming of? And Father Ferriols wrote, The Lord told me, He is dreaming of saving you. Then, I was in front of him like this. He looked at his left. There was a window in the wellness center of Loyola. And he said, God is dreaming of saving you. Then he would look at my eyes. Dimsy. God is dreaming of saving you. That's how God sees you. He dreams of saving you. That's it. 
Napakasimple po. When you get this, you got the light. Because all the rest doesn't matter. Bano, wala yung light tuloy. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So when you say, the Lord is my light, my light, because He is my salvation, because I always want to see the face of God. Only this I seek to see your face. We came from Him. He wants us to be with Him. Father Arhevalo, nearly a month after, in January 20 or 19, I don't know anymore, He told us, God has only one dream. He wants to save you. He sent His Son that those who believe in Him will not perish but will have eternal life. Brothers and sisters, you don't see eternal life easily unless you got the light of Christ. What is that light? What is that light of Jesus? It brings joy. It brings happiness. First reading, it's like people getting the harvest. They were an agricultural people. Ang kabuhayan po nila, ang kanilang kakainin, galing sa lupa. Eh, paano kakakain ko walang ulan? Paano kakakain ko hindi yayabong? It all depends on God. So it's like harvest. And they thank God for that harvest. Three times a year, they go. They go to the temple with barley, Passover, Pesach. With wheat, they call it Shavuot, which is already the wheat, 50 days after Passover, and Sukkoth in September, after the harvest of the grapes. Whoa, bread and wine. Blessed are you, Lord God. You have given us this bread. Work of the human hands. But you have given this to us. That it may become for us the bread of life. The chalice of salvation. That's what we're celebrating. Every Sunday, every Mass. And so therefore, the ending po, I'll end immediately. Come to me. Come, follow me. Anong tawag doon? Kung siya ang liwanag na nagahari sa dilim at sa lagim ng buhay, anong gagawin mo para maghari sa kanya? There's a better word in Tagalog. Pasakop ka sa akin. Magpasakop ka. Gawin mo akin ka. Gawin mo kong iyo. Brothers and sisters, don't go to church, don't go to Mass on Sunday. Go to Christ. Tanggapin natin siya. It's useless to go to a church. It's useless to go simply to pray. He said, take and eat. Take and drink. Come. Pasakop ka. Bakit? Go. Iba ka na. Tinagap mo ako, sakop ka sa akin, live like me. And you will cure illnesses. And you will be gospel. Magandang balita. So sana, anak, pagkatapos nito, pag makulit ka at kinurot ka ng nanay mo, sabi mo, ma, nagsimba ka ba? Bakit? Eh, ba't mo kinukurot? Po, brothers and sisters, may consequence po ang pagsimba dito. Ang consequence, you must become part of the light. Nakakaliwanag. Nakakakita ang tao. Paano maging tao sa kapwa-tao? So, mag-isawa po kayo. 
Hindi. Ay, itong class. Sorry, ha. Ito pa, asawa niya. Hindi dalawa. Hindi dalawa. Isa lang. Liwanag ba yan? Pag dumadating pa, good news siya o takot ka? Mamiyang gabi, pag-usapan niyo. Honest. Ano ang naglibigay ng lagim sa bahay na to? What brings light, however, when you are in an attitude? And therefore, nakakagaan ng loob. Nakakabuti. That's all. That's why we are here. So Jesus says, brothers and sisters, come, let's follow Him. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Spiritually united with all the people of goodwill, let us now address our needs to the Lord for all the needs of mankind and the people dear to our hearts. Our response is, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Catholic Church, God's special family on earth, may she constantly be good news to all the nations of the world through her faithfulness to the teaching of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. For those involved in the biblical apostolate, may their effort to bring the Holy Scripture to all families and institutions find a positive response in all Filipinos. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. For those who are called to a special discipleship, may they respond promptly to the Lord's invitation and persevere in their vocation with generous faithfulness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. For all Christians' families, may their generous response to Jesus' invitation to a more radical discipleship make them heralds of good news in their own environments. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Hear us. For an end to the pandemic, that the sick be healed, that those who care for them be strengthened, and help us all to persevere in faith and charity. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for continuing to call people to be your special disciples and promoters of your word in our country. May their efforts produce abundant fruit. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us now share our love offerings as we continue with the liturgy of the Eucharist.
Please stand. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray. In sanctifying them, grant that we may profit for may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself so that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose Cardinal Advincula, our Archbishop, his assistant bishops, the clergy, and all our lay leaders. Remember Catalino Arevalo, your servant whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that he who has been united in a death like that of your son may now be one with him in his resurrection. Remember as well our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our own martyrs, Lorenzo Ruiz and Pedro Calungsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit, to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. You know, when we recite the Our Father, it contains your kingdom come. And so let us pray that that kingdom may truly come upon us. Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Please look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant us, our own families and neighborhoods, our country, the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other now a sign of peace. The light, our salvation. He asks us to receive him in this sacred meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly and safe distribution of Holy Communion, we will do it row by row. Kindly follow the ushers. For those outside the chapel, lay ministers will go out for distribution of Holy Communion.
So 
Please stand. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in this, your gift, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. We will now have a second collection in support of the Biblical Apostolate. Thank you very much for your generosity. Please stand. Bago po tayo matapos, uh, kinausap ko oh, ang ating mga uh, lay minister at saka yung readers natin, si Dimsi at saka si Joyce. Anong baon mo from my homily? Meron ka bang baon? Sige na, exams. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Thank you. Kayo, Joyce. Akala ko siya si Ariel, eto si Joy. <laughs> May I be the light to the world. <laughs> Talaga mag magasawa sila. The Lord is my light, pero sabi niya, ako na maglalight. Liliwanagan kita. Paliliwanagan kita ngayon. Hindi. Ang ganda po. Alam niyo, mga kapatid. Nakakabusog. Nakakataba ng puso. Mataba na nga po ang katawan ko, pinataba niyo pa puso. Wala po na, halos wala na tayong os os sa loob. Palakpakan naman natin ang Diyos. Ewan ko, kung tinanggap niyo ang hamon ko na huwag kayong pumunta sa simbahan, pumunta kayo kay Jesus. Ngayon, dalhin niyo siya. Mga kapatid, Dimsey, kung may trabaho ka, sabihin mo lang bukas sa katrabaho mo, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Bakit? Nagsimba ko eh. Alam niyo mga kapatid, consumer Christianity pa rin tayo. Kung pagkatapos ito, nagsimba ka lang at lalabas ka. Magdala ka. Ikaw po, today you are Christian. Tama ba? Freddy ka ba? Hindi kasi Freddy. Ikaw, Rodery ka ba? Hindi kasi Roderick. Ikaw? Edward? Hindi. Ano ka ba? Simon? Hindi. Ikaw si Christian. Kristo ka. Maging Kristo tayo. Hindi kailangan ng pangalan. Kailangan may Kristo sa mundo natin. The Lord be with you.
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go now and serve God and each other. Thanks be to God. Gusto niyo bang bumalik ako next week? Yes, ha? Hey, Hindi, wala kayong magagawa. Pinapabalik ako talaga eh. Every 12.15 po. Pagliligtas ng Diyos sa sa krus ni Jesus Ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos Lahit at lupa siya'y papurihan Araw at tala siya'y parangalan ng Diyos sa tanan Alleluia At isigaw sa lahat Kalingan niya'y wagas Iyong lukas sa lahat Pag-ibig niya sa inyo ay tapat Halina't sumayaw Sabay sigaw ang libutan At ngalan niya ang kinsinig ng mingin Iwanag ng Diyos sumaati Langit at lupa siya'y papulihan Araw at tala siya'y parangalan Ating pag-ibig pag-ibig na Diyos sa tanan Sa tanan Hallelujah.